Hey everybody, welcome to part two of how to make Crossy Road with Swift and Xcode. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is what we want to accomplish in this part of the tutorial. We just have our frog, and when the screen's clicked, just like before, we change things up a little bit. But when he's clicked, uh, he moves up, and also the background moves down alongside with him. But now you would also be able to swipe left to move at different intervals so he can dodge the obstacles. So yep, that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Continuing on from part one, we need to head on over to our crossyrod.xcode project, as I improperly named it, and we're just going to go over to our viewcontroller.swift. Now, as you can remember, I have this function right here. This was a temporary function. Basically, as soon as the touches began, or when you touch the screen, it would do this action, or this function right above here, and move all of our landscape down and move our character character up. So now, in order to actually get it to move side by side, as right now if you have touches began, this is going to override anything that you have right now. Uh, that If you added like a swipe left or a swipe right, it would override that. So now in order to actually get our swipe left or swipe right to actually work, we just need to delete this touches began right here. So delete that. Head on over to our main.storyboard, and we're just going to click and drag this part up right up here so we can see a bit more. Head down here, and we're going to right click, and I'm sorry, we're just going to click and drag a tap gesture recognizer onto our scene. So in, in turn, this is basically going to act as our touches began as we had before. And this is going to move, move our player forward. And then we're going to also have some swipe gesture recognizers to move our character from left to right. So now click and drag our tap gesture recognizer and just click and drag that right on top of this view right here. So now this is going to add the, re the gesture recognizer onto our view. So now as soon as this view is touched, it's going to add this recognizer. So now in order to actually get this recognizer to do things, we need to open up our assistant editor. And now we're gonna right click or control click and drag from our tap gesture recognizer right down here and we're going to insert an action and this action is going to be called we'll just call this tap action connect or you could call it move forward or any other thing like that but I am putting this as the tap action and inside of this tap action function we're just gonna say move as you can remember this was the function that moved our character up so now if we were to actually build and run this we would actually get our character to move up as you will see. So now we have our gesture recognizer recognizing that this is a tap function and we're going to call move as well. So now we have our character moving up. So now down here we want to add a swipe gesture recognizer. So just right, so just, I keep saying right click. So just click and drag our swipe gesture recognizer again onto our view right here. And then we're going to add a second one so we can be left and right. Now click on this gesture recognizer right there and we're going to make this our left swipe gesture recognizer and the other one is automatically set to the default of right. And this will all be in your uh, attributes inspector right over there. So now just click on your left gesture recognizer and we want to right click or control click and drag from that gesture recognizer over to our viewcontroller.swift and we're going to insert a connection and this will be an action and we'll call this uh, swiped left. So as the name entails, as soon as this is swiped left, we want things to happen. We will program what exactly we want to happen in just a minute. Now this is our swiped right gesture recognizer, so we just want to right click or control click and drag from that over to our viewcontroller.swift and we're going to connect this as an action and our action we'll just call this a swiped right. Now connect. So now we have our swiped right and our swiped left function and now we're going to add some functions to actually happen when we do these. So in order to do this just go right up here. And we're going to add this function and we'll call this move sorry function funk move uh, left so as the name entails, this is going to move our character left, and then we're going to have another function, and this will be move right. Then open parentheses, close parentheses, open bracket, close bracket. And now inside of these, we just want to basically do what we did up here. So we're going to move a UI view uh, with a duration of 0.2, so we're just going to copy this one right here. 
that says uh, UI view animate with duration 0 0.2 instead of the 0 0.5 one. So we just want to, this will be the short one that moves our character left really quick. And then we'll also paste that right in our move right function. Now inside of our move left function, you will see that you have self.player.center equals CG point X self.player.center.x. And in order to make it shift left, we need to either make this uh, center.x, we want to minus 50 off of our center.x for our player. And then we don't want this to move up because that's how the game works. So we're going to say self.player.center.y. So we're going to keep it in the same place that it was. And we're going, we're going to keep it at the same y value that it was, and then we're going to move it to fix 50 pixels or minus 50 pixels over to the left. So now we need to do this with the with our move right, but instead of moving minus 50 pixels, we want to say plus 50 pixels. So now it's going to move properly, and then we also want to delete the minus 50 off of our center dot y. So now it's going to keep our center dot y. Now inside of our swiped left, we just want to say move, this will say move left, and then this will say move right. Now let's build and run this. And now as you will see, I have our person and I can tap or I can swipe left or swipe right. So that is how you get this character to move right and left as you swipe. Also, if you want him to go from left to right in different intervals or different time intervals, meaning he can, he'll go faster left or go faster right, we can go back to our code right over here. And inside of move left, you can change animate with duration to whatever you like. I'm going to actually put mine at 0 0.1 and I'm going to do the same for my move right as well. And also, if you wanted to change the interval at which he moved, I'll show you that in just a second. But right now, you'll see him animating a lot faster than before. So it's a much faster way to do things. I think this is much better in a game to have him going along left and right faster. Or if you want it to be a little bit more challenging, you can also say center.x minus 50, or you can change to this to 25. And this will actually make it a lot harder to get through and get past certain obstacles. I'm not too sure this is the best way to do things, but if you want to, you can. So that it would be how it is done. So you can move left and right. Or if you want them to go bigger, you can change this to a, we'll say 75. So minus 75 pixels and then plus 75 pixels to move right. So now we can build and run that again, like so. So now he's jumping really, really far in that certain amount of time. So yeah, you can play around with those kind of numbers if you want to have a different style type of game. But anyway, that is how you move left and right. That's it for this tutorial. I know it was a short one. I've been trying to actually figure out how to do score. If you guys have any idea of how to fix this to problem of it, right now I actually, well, it goes, the score goes up, but it looks like it's resetting the scene every time the score is clicked. If you know how to fix this problem, I'm trying to figure it out myself right now. But if you know how to fix it, leave it down in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials, be sure to leave that down there as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. And welcome to part two of how to make two. Hey everybody, welcome to part two of how to make pro, pro, part two of how to make crossy road, road.